what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the values of x for which the square root of 3x plus the square root of x is equal to 6. well our first step will be for us to square both sides so on the left i have the square root of 3x plus the square root of x. So I'm going to square the left. I'll also square the right. Now notice that the left hand side is of the form a plus b all squared, which can be expanded as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now comparing the two expressions, you see that a is in the form of the square root of 3x and then b is in the form of the square root of x. Now expanding this like this, we have a squared, which is the square root of 3x squared plus 2 times a times b. A is the square root of 3x times b. b is the square root of x and then plus b squared. So plus b is the square root of x and then squared. Very good. So this is equal to 6 squared is 36. Now notice that this square cancels out the square root leaving behind 3x plus this becomes 2. Now since what I have here is in a square root and what I have here is also in a square root, I can just take a common square root and multiply them. So 3x times x is 3x squared. Plus, now this square cancels out the square root, leaving x. And this is equal to 36. Now, 3x plus x is 4x plus this is 2. I'm going to be separating what we have here. Now, what I have here, I have the square root of 3 times the square root of x squared. And then this is equal to 36. Now, notice that this square root and this square cancels out, leaving x so that I have 4x plus this is 2 root 3 times x that's 2 root 3x and this is equal to 36. Now notice that 2 can divide so let's divide through by 2 so I'll divide this by 2 I'll divide this by 2 and I'll also divide this by 2. Now 4 divided by 2, I have 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 36 divided by 2 is 18. So this simplifies into 2x plus what remains here is the square root of 3x, and this is equal to 18 on the right. Now in order to get rid of this square root, I'm going to be moving 2x to the right hand side so that I have the square root of 3x to be equal to this is 18 and as 2x crosses to the right it becomes minus 2x so now let's square both sides in order to remove the square root so I'll square the left I'll also square the right now notice that the right hand side is of the form a minus b all squared and this can be expanded as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now comparing you see that a is in the form of 18 and then b is in the form of 2x. Now let's expand on the left hand side this can be written as this square here affects the square root of 3 and x. 
So this can be written as the square root of 3 squared times x squared. That is it. And this is equal to, now expanding this like this, we have a squared, that is 18 squared, minus 2 times a times b, so minus 2 times a, a is 18, times b, b is 2x, and then plus b squared, plus b is, a, b is 2x squared. Now notice that the square cancels out the square root, leaving behind 3. So 3 times x squared is 3x squared. This is equal to 18 squared is 324. Minus 2 times 18 times 2x, that is 72x. Plus, now remember that this square affects the 2 and the x. So this is 2 squared times x squared. That is it. So simplifying further, we have 3x squared to be equal to 324 minus 72x plus 2 squared is 4 times x squared, that is 4x squared. Now I'm going to be moving this 3x squared to the right hand side. So this will be equal to, now I'll write this first, so 4x squared. When I move 3x squared to the right, it becomes minus 3x squared. Now, leaving behind 0 on the left-hand side, I've got minus 72x, so minus 72x, and then plus 3, 2, 4. Plus 3, 2, 4. That is it. And now simplifying, we have 0 to be equal to 4x squared minus 3x squared, that is x squared, minus 72x plus 3, 2, 4. Now, this is same as flipping the positions. That means I'm going to be writing the right-hand side on the left-hand side. So this is x squared minus 72x plus 3, 2, 4, equal to... Now, I'm going to be writing the left-hand side on the right-hand side, which is 0. So, we have a quadratic equation. And we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. Our a here is a coefficient of x squared, and that is 1. Our b is a coefficient of x, and that is negative 72. And our c is the constant term, which is 3, 2, now, since we're using the quadratic formula, our quadratic formula is x equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2e. So now let's substitute into our quadratic formula. Now substituting, we have x to be equal to negative b. So negative b, b is negative 72. So negative 72 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is negative 72 squared minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times a, a is 1 times c, c is 3 to 4. 3 to 4. All over. 2 times a, that is 2 times 1. So this simplifies into x equal to negative times negative is positive. So we're going to be having positive 72 plus or minus the square root of negative 72 squared gives 5184 minus 4 times 1 times 324, this gives 1,296. All over, 2 times 1 is 2. And now simplifying further, we have x 
to be equal to this is 72 plus or minus the square root of 5184 minus 1296 we give 3888 all over 2. Now we're going to be simplifying this 3888 by splitting it into two factors, one of which must be a perfect square. So we have x to be 72 plus or minus the square root of, now splitting into two factors, we have 1296 times 3. Actually, this is a perfect square. All of our the denominator 2. So this simplifies into x equal to 72 plus or minus. We're going to be separating this. The square root of 1, 2, 9, 6 times the square root of 3 all over 2. So this becomes x equal to 72 plus or minus. Like this is a perfect squared. So the square root of 1, 2, 9, 6 is 36 times root 3. So we're just going to multiply by root 3 all over 2. We can decide to separate the fraction. So we have x equal to 72 divided by 2 plus or minus 36 root 3 divided by 2. Now this makes x to be 72 divided by 2 is 36 plus or minus 36 root 3 divided by 2 is 18 root 3. So there are two values of x from here of which one of the values of x is 36 plus 18 root 3 which can be factorized into 18 is common so let's factor out 18. Now this will be 36 divided by 18 is 2 plus 18 root 3 divided by 18 is root 3. So this is one value of x. Now the other value of x is equal to 36. This time go with the negative minus 18 root 3. Now, factoring out 18, just like this, which gives 18, common, open bracket, 36 divided by 18 is 2, minus 18 root 3 divided by 18 is root 3. So these are the two values of x. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.